<laughs> I got to ask though, because you came to Japan, like at a, obviously much earlier than us. Cause for us coming to Japan, you know, there's plenty of resources for us to like learn about what Japan life is like. You know, we have like a lot of way more vloggers and more mm. YouTube videos and more resources that we can look at. But what was it like for you? Was it almost like coming in blind? Like what was you, what was it like coming to Japan back then compared to how it is now? I mean, the first time I came, well, I'm sorry, the time <coughs> I moved here, I'd already been here about six or seven times, mm. either doing, um, mostly doing work or like the, what I said before, like I go on holiday mm. and, mm. you know, so I had a lot of friends, uh, you know, make friends with people who speak English and stuff, you know, I'd have floors to sleep on and yeah. right, you right, know, right. contacts and things like that, which, you know, with Japanese people, they're very friendly. Like if, you know, you can impose on a Japanese person terribly for like two or three days. And right. they kind of, they don't, they don't mind. It's like, yeah, you're gonna, only gonna be here a couple of days. That's fine. Yeah. Right. So I had a pretty good idea of what I was getting into at that point. And I knew I'd have, like I sort of set myself up with people. Okay, I want to buy a car. I want somewhere to stay. I want, I need all this sort of stuff. And I kind of worked out how to do it. So it wasn't really that bad. And I knew like, you know, I bought a, a kick-ass laptop. We've got internet. Um, when I first arrived and I was staying at my friend's house, uh, you know, they had internet there. I'm like, oh, what, so what's the, is there like a download limit? I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to like, I don't want to get throttled. And they're like, what's a download limit? Yeah. <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> Could you this be every is, Australian coming uh, to Japan. Yeah. Does, like, does, right? does Australia still have download limits? Oh, not now. I don't, well, do I don't you know, know, probably. America no, does. It, no, it does, yeah. yeah. America yeah. does too, and I couldn't yeah. believe it. Mm. I was like, what do you mean you only get three gigabytes a month? You yeah, can't yeah, shit yeah. With That's that. ridiculous. Yeah. I yeah. use like for like 20 gigabytes a day minimum. <laughs> yeah, for like I, YouTube and Netflix nowadays. Yeah. How yeah. how do you do that? <laughs> it's criminal, man. It's criminal. <laughs> man, I, I wonder, like, how is. Because I feel like when I've asked uh, Japanese people who've been, you know, who are like 30, 40 plus, you know, how Japan was back then, they, they're like, oh, not much has changed. But I think because they've been living here, they don't see it that way. Mm. I wonder like, as someone who came here in 2005, how mm. is Japan like different then from now, like majorly? Is there anything that's changed like? Uh, the biggest thing, I mean, there's been a, quite a few changes in the past year, yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah, obvious yeah. to you guys, but uh, the, as as a, as from a foreigner's point of view, mm. mm -hmm. uh, accessibility to everything is just it's just wide open now. Yeah, yeah. you want to you want to know how to get to random little place, Google. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And there's there's pictures of what it looks like, <laughs> and it's just so easy. Like no matter where you want to go, it's it's much easier now. Whereas back then, you know, like for example, going to Akihabara, you'd find some random, uh, you know, guys blog that he'd like he was like obsessed about because the problem was like back then people would, would flavor their content with their own bias. tastes yeah, yeah. Bias things. like this guy was obsessed with finding like laser discs yeah right. certain things and he no laser discs and um porn yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just forgot that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, the only two reasons you should go to Alcabra, right? At least it's important. I mean, one of, one of them's been phased out. The yeah. other one hasn't been. The other one has exploded in popularity. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, so the, uh, you know, it would tell you all these places to go and he had like, you know, where all the, at, like all the anime studios are, like yeah. here's Gainax, here's yeah. whatever. And it's like, if you want to go oh, they there. had a map of where they were. It wasn't, no, it wasn't a map. It was like just like this, like it was like a literally, um, directions from the closest station, like walk to this corner and turn left. <laughs> That's here. creepy. Yeah, it was uh, it was weird, but I mean, it's, it's you just- That's how it is, you know. You yeah. just find things. Like I, I've still got the first notebook of like my first trip. There's a lot of like printed out maps and mm. handwritten notes and things like that. It's how like, do you navigate a handwritten map of Akihabara? Like it, looking uh, through Google maps is already confusing. Yeah. You, just, you just walk down the street and- Just hope for the best. <laughs> I, it was, 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 well, let's go, go ahead, guys. Well, I mean, it's it, but it's 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 so. No matter where you turn, it's like there's something. Yeah, yeah. And even if you want to look, I, I, I've sort of found about Japan is, you, focus on one thing, and then see what you find along the way. Because mm. you'd always find like, these random like, I mean, all the best stuff is like, oh, this is what's this random floor? Oh, it's like some dojinchi shop, and you find, oh wow, there's all this cool stuff here. Like that's yeah, 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 yeah. true, true. So you didn't really need it back then. Was was there many foreigners back then? Like in Japan, because there, there isn't that many now, but I, I imagine it was even less back then. So for Akihabara, the biggest notice, the biggest difference between then and now is uh, there's less video games and more the claw machines. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? okay. Uh, the the billboards are more blatantly. How do I put it? Like, <laughs> just say it, say it what it is. I, say it. Well, I, 
Tit, like a lot of titties and ass, yeah. a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of a lot of lewd stuff. Yeah, a lot of lewd, a lot, yeah. lot more waifus the, the, the nowadays. The concept of lewd is definitely uh, like yeah. the boundary has gotten further. It's yeah. more like like bam. Although although on the other hand though the uh, like the um, the aerogue shops mm. are not like right out in front anymore. Like they're, they're all of, underground yeah. now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like, yeah. back then like like. On the on the front the front of the Edelge shop they'd have like the big wall with like each of the games and a little ticket. Yeah. So you just you on the street you're like I want ah oh, I love this yeah something sister something. <laughs> <laughs> you go inside and buy it. Whereas now it's more sort of all shut up mm, inside. Yeah, yeah. It's more like tourist friendly. Like they still have like the the maids and stuff. Also yeah the maids stuff like that didn't that was none of that back then. Oh yeah. really? Or was it yeah. not? Yeah, like originally. I mean, there were, but the, now it's like every corner it's like the new made one. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. there was the big ones, but there's not all like the the little niche ones, like like the, the ninja one, the yeah. ninja like one, the, 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 the tsundere eh? one, yeah. like the immortal one. The, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like the, yeah, I think I watched a, a documentary yesterday of Anaki Habra. Oh, that was like 2005. It was oh. this horribly edited documentary. <laughs> right. It was edited like a horror. Sure. But it was I mean, that's that's what every anime documentary was like back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. I, it, I don't even know what it was supposed to be though. Like yeah. it was, I couldn't figure it out, but they, were, they, were, they had, there was like maid, they were showing some maid cafes around, but it looked like very early on. Yeah. Like, so I think that like was around- Like sketch. The, I think that was around the, the time it happened because they were following the author of Higurashi. Oh, and, and, okay. and his family. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was really weird because oh. In this documentary, for some reason, I know this is going on a tangent, it just made me laugh my ass off there because it's a super serious documentary. And the guy with Higurashi, he had his whole family helping him make it. And then his dad was in charge of research and his dad dead ass to the camera goes, yes, I had to study how much gas it would take to blow up a classroom for one of his novels. And I, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? He just said that? Like, he said it like it was nothing. Like, how much gas to blow? How did you find that out? Like, what resources is there out there? Like, it's the difference just, between a large explosion and a small fire. I'm like, did you, I'm like did, but did you really have to find out how much gas there was? Could you not have made up some arbitrary amount of gas? Yeah, who is, who is, like, who is like, gonna read Higurashi and like fact check? It's like, yeah, like it's like, oh, I don't believe that's the right amount yeah. of gas to blow this classroom up. Yeah, I mean, come on. Like, if, uh, modern day America hadn't happened yet. Come on. I'm just, I mean, you, 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 <laughs> You want to be factually correct in in like how to fucking kill bodies, right? How to dispose. Weird. Like, Sorry, I just put a tangent, but that yeah. was just about a documentary 2005. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it, was a, a, it was slightly different then. I, was, <laughs> I mean, the, the, you know, even even more of the old uh, the old electronic stuff was still. Mm. I mean, it, there still is now, but. It, that was, I thought that was cool. Like that was the just, main mm -hmm. stuff, though, right? right? Yeah. yeah, like you turn down some random alley, and it's all like Blade Runner electronics yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh wow, this is really cool. Because it's my cool. my dad, like when he first came to Japan, it was like in the like the mid nineties, like like kind of early to mid nineties, like before I was born. Um, and like back then, Akihabara was called Electric City. Yeah, yeah. And nowadays, it's there's barely any of that shit anymore, right? Like the electronics shops and everything are like all behind like in alleyways or they're well, like- Yeah, there's like the big anime shops that yeah. you actually go in the first in, level in yeah, the back yeah. and find all- That's where that. all the electronics stuff is, right? Yeah, yeah. so- Because like you go you go, out, you go out the uh, train and you see like the electric town exit or whatever. Yeah, the electric town and I'm just, I remember the first time coming, I was like, why is, the, why is it called electric town exit? Well, what has this got to do with where electricity at all? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As eventually, that's eventually gonna be just be like the anime town exit. <laughs>